don't actually know if this is gonna work. Um, okay, it is. All right, sorry about. This is the best intro ever. Hey there, everyone. This is Alcow playing Mario Galaxy, and today we're beating the game. I have decided that while I agree that ending on something that resemble a climax is probably for the best, I also think that I mean honestly, my 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 desire to put some crowns on these is overtaking my desire for something a little bit more climactic. And if there's any chance that this new thing at the bottom has the ability of giving me the ability to gain crowns, I want to take that chance. Uh, sure. Here we go. It doesn't even say yes. It says go. Here we are. Alright. Uh, off we go. Wait, she's coming with me? Okay, well, at the very least, she's, uh... <sighs> doing a spell. Oh, she went all the way up to, like, the top room. Maybe that's why you have to unlock it. It's so... It's so you can have this little cutscene happen. It's very grainy because it's pre-rendered and the resolution is smaller. Oh, jeez. What is happening with your star base, though? <laughs> okay! I didn't expect that to, like, transform like that. Ooh. Oh yeah, we got a remix, here we go, into the dreaded Red Zone Galaxy. Get out of here, ships! We're destroying this armada and the UFO. Uh, look at that. I, that's what I have to say there. Oh, alright. The, the subtitles did not match what she actually said. I don't know if you've noticed. It's pretty so. What are you doing? Tossing out there. Oh, you're making a bridge. One piece at a time. All right. Hey, I made it. Now the real game begins. Actually, this could be a HUD. Like, it doesn't need to be a. No, it says new on the map. Yeah, it's the fate of the universe. <laughs> Nothing major. Don't worry about it. <laughs> the uh, the Bowser's Galaxy Reactor. Oh my gosh, he made. Massive holes in that sun. That is a really cool image. Do I need to avoid the spotlights? Is that why you want to tell me, Mr. Luma? It says this fight isn't just for us, it's also about saving your special one. Dude, don't fail. Wow, no pressure or anything. Uh, those spotlights have their own gravity. Oh, okay, it's the opposite of what I thought. Okay, so the spotlight might, might come from Rosa. It's like, you know, she's got her spotlight machine up on top on her ship is that whoa check it out you know kind of showing it off like finally she gets the chance to show off her space deck all right uh, 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 i mean i don't really need that life i don't think i'm gonna get it i guess because it's like right there i didn't need to all right all right so here it gives a little bit of an angle oh my gosh a skeleton scary all right check it out we're doing it all right so I'm liking a lot these, like, Bowser Zones, because they are just, like, straight-up Mario levels for the most part. And it turns out straight-up Mario levels are typically a pretty good time. Oh, it's going. I snuck by. Oh, jeez. All right. It's Propeller Zone. Yeah. Okay. So, oh, and that's sinking. Fiery tendrils. Moving rock. Sinking metal, though. That's a donut. Like, it does that not just look like a Boston Cream donut? Like the type of glazing they would have, I said the K instead of the G. I don't know how that happened. All right, I don't know how you get that one up over there. Well, with a mighty leap, uh, with a confidence spin. Two things I didn't do. Oh, geez. Oh, hey, we're re-expensing this little fabric of the universe. I can't help but notice that they are shaking, you know, pretty quickly, so making me think that in terms of step hold, they might not be- Oh no, but I think they're pretty stable while I'm here. Yeah, I could get it. Why are you giving me so many one-ups? Like, that's too many one-ups. It's a bit weird. Alright, so, oh hey, it's a desert world. See someone put a nice big skull sign to make sure everyone's aware. Pirates are inbound. Uh, sand pirates. Dune pirates. Alright, dodge the fire bar. Uh, where am I going here? 
over here because these are dipping in the sand. Skull sand. Uh, but you don't have a skull fire bar warning. So what does that mean? Nothing at all. You're you're just making a weird statement that is absolutely meaningless. So oh, oh huh? Oh, so okay, it's like the ice except now it's metal. Oh geez, okay. Alright. So oh yeah, one up there. Fire bar on a diagonal. Diagonal hero, flip around and be confused. I guess you don't need to be confused. What? I thought that I would have jumped enough to end that up on the bottom part, but I guess I was wrong. Pull me up, Scotty. Bring me to this tiled flooring. Oh, geez. Welcome to the Bowser Tunnel. Oh, this looks super rad. Oh, everything's getting a bit wet. It's real crispy here. The air is just kind of like, you know, it's doing that thing. I keep thinking you want to hit these Bowser statues. Like, why would they be there? And it's not like they're throwing lasers or anything. Ooh, okay. There was a spot where I had to jump. Please don't kill me, guy. I'm still alive. Oh, shoot. Okay, so lava. Oh, jeez. Not the deadliest substance in the universe, which is good. Sand is way deadlier than lava. Everyone knows that. All right, just enjoy the ride, man. Bonsai Bill, okay. Do you think it saw me? I mean, it has eyes. All right, we'll just kind of sneak by. Then I'm just kind of existing here. Yeah, oh, you just blew up, buddy. Bonsai Bill, swerving around me until it dies. Uh, this is so neat. Like, this is just flat out super neat, cool neat. That is, oh, and like I kind of moved here and it's just everything Whoa! Oh, okay, so they can be destroyed if you believe in yourself and also have uh, a bullet in their way. <laughs> that would help. Oh, that's so neat. Oh, I need, yeah, oh, there we go. The gravity kind of follows suit. It understands what I'm trying to do. Oh, geez. Is this, is this it? Well, I don't know. There's a slimy child in the way. But yeah, I'm looking at her. I'm not looking for her. I am actually looking at her right now. Hey, you're kind of hunched over like that. That's weird. Oh, look at that Mario serious face. So is it going to be Baby Bowser and Bowser Bowser, like, together at last? Uh, I don't know. All right, let's find out as we approached the sun. Okay, you're throwing meteorite, so you know, the climb isn't going to be free, although your aim is fantastic. Uh, I shouldn't be sarcastic. You know, we're having a serious fight amongst eternal rivals here. Yeah, there's a one-up. I appreciate it. That's bait, though, I can tell. Hey, I'm here. Someone put this tower next to the sun, and you're just looking at me, and honestly, it's kind of weird. Finally! You got here just in time to see the creation of my galaxy in the center of the universe. Watch and weep. I don't know. Is, you mean like weep of awe? Because I could see that happening. From this galaxy, I'll rule a great galactic empire in blue with Peach by my side. It will last forever. I will rule every pitiful corner of the universe. So, Mario, as you can see, I got big plans. And stomping you is at the top of my list. Yeah, gotta make priority for good times, not just work times. So we're going to this planet instead. And your son is gonna watch this happen. Wait, so what am I supposed to make you stomp on? Um, oh, oh wait a second, you're now made of rocks. Okay, am I supposed to, like, bop you on the face or something? Okay, sure, I can do that. That was weird. That's, like, less effective than your normal plan, buddy. Bowser, don't go weak on me, okay? Just because you're getting impatient. Whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah, I thought I would get hit there. I still have money. Well, whoa, whoa, yeah. It's like, I have trouble, I feel like, getting my distance right, like, my height manipulation. Oh, shoot. Okay, you really have to hit the face. Yeah, there I was a bit uh, too something. Too close. I couldn't really time well. Because I didn't, like, 
Let it give me the chance to time well. There we go. That's a well time. The chorus is getting into it. They're like, wow! Someone's knocking this giant turtle dragon around on a small planetoid. All right, let's do that again. This time, I have one of these. Okay, uh, you're getting ball shape. All right, it happens. Yeah, that's right. Get knocked out all over the... Where are you? You're so slow, Bowser. You're gonna make me think I'm falling asleep. You gotta step it up a little bit. Uh -oh. Fireball. Yeah? Oh, I'm so impressed, Bowser. Your ability to put yourself in your shell and spin around. Truly a sight to behold. I think we hit each other there. But we got force fields now, so it's okay. We're going to the middle of the sun. Very casual. Oh, hey, it's classic fight time. With the Mario crew. With Bowser, Mario, and even his best buddy, Mustache Man. I don't think he exists. All right, so then you do a mighty leap. Then you burn yourself up. That's fine. It happens to the best of us. Mostly you, though. It happens to you a lot more than it happens to me. Like, let's be real. Also, since when have your spikes been retractable? That's really freaky. Okay, maybe I should take you a little bit more seriously, but... Uh, you're, just, you're just such a delight, Bowser. You're the best friend a plumber hero could have, in a strange way. Oh jeez, this is a lot of these. Yeah, I kind of saw that happening. Okay. Oh, alright. So, whoosh, there we go. You're rolling around in the really... Wow, your, your angle is like... Very, oh, man, we missed. Alright, well, try it again. Better. <laughs> you see, because the planet is clear, you can see his journey across the planet. It's really well thought, and it looks neat. Mixing style... Two... Wow, okay, instant replay. But only twice. <laughs> oh no, he's hurt. I feel bad. I mean, he's a bad guy, and he's up to bad things, but I feel he's been up... I don't know, I... Is it weird that I don't really believe him to be bad? It really just feels like an act. He's desperate for attention. He has no idea how to express that. Only through violence. So, I mean, he is still violent. He did encase toes and whatnot and crystal. Back on Earth? Question mark? Planet Zone? Mushroom Kingdom? Like, I cannot deny that, and I won't. I don't want to rewrite Bowser as in being like a secret good guy or anything. I just... I don't know. I just... I can't take his threats as a serious attempt on anyone. And it feels mean to say that, but he, they just... Mario and Bowser just look like they're having such a grand old time when they are in battle with one another, you know? I just can't help it. Alright, well, we're done here. We are back into FMV zone. I guess Baby Bowser just gave up. <laughs> I appreciate Baby Bowser's strat of just throwing Peach. Okay, he's gonna crash the sun too. Good. I, 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 I enjoyed his plan of just chucking her into space. It's too bad that it Turns out it's probably not on purpose. I don't know why he lost power like that. Like, why Why he's careening towards the sun? Well, this place is having a real bad time. Oh, wait a sec. Something's happening. No, no, no. These are not just solar flares. Oh, yeah. Bowser getting the big spells out. Also surviving the sun. Details. <laughs> or is he? Yeah, no, no, no. Like, he's serious. He's doing alright. I mean, he's hurt, but... Oh, he's so sad. Uh... Oh, I don't want to see Bowser cry. I don't want to... S okay, now everything is sinking back. Okay. Turns out... I thought... Well, I... 
This seems like a problem. <laughs> I like how. Whoop! Alright. <laughs> like, he seems to have created some kind of super black hole. Alright, is the space bait hanging on? Well, everything is sinking. Oh no, it just got ripped to shreds. Uh, the castle is hanging on, of all things. Hey, so, what's up with that? <laughs> oh, it's the Luma that lives in my hat! Oh, it is several Lumas living in many hats. Like, I realize that this is probably just a Big Bang being recreated, and this is... The natural life cycle of a Luma, but it still feels bad. Like, they're all little, little babies. What is going on with those, like, orb shapes? That is so cool looking. Whoa! <laughs> okay! <laughs> wow! That was a big bang. Yeah, we were done with the old universe. Okay, there's a baby around. It's the baby universe. <laughs> okay, baby stars, sure. Did you know that if you listen into space, you can hear the galaxies cry? I... I I feel like I should, you know, you know, confer Rosalina some amount of um, authority on space things, but I don't think what she just said is true. <laughs> Citation needed. So. <laughs> okay, we had the voice actress there to say one word, <laughs> so we're gonna put it in. <laughs> so, that's so weird, isn't it? Like, at least say the full line. Like, not having every piece of text voiced, I get that. But just a word, that's just strange. So does that not happen? Did the entirety of Mario Galaxy was all just a weird butterfly dream? Mm -hmm. I think it happened, and it created a U universe. It just kind of looks a lot like the old one. The way things are waving around is super distracting to me. It's the low resolution, you know? It's like 480p uh, upscaled by, uh, by Dolphin. That's, that's the way it's gonna look like. Oh, look at that! The boat! One boat lived on. All the other forces of Bowser, forget about it. The massive queen bee is here, okay. Sure. Pumpkin Goobas walking in a circle. Shouldn't panic or anything. This is like the prime enemy of this kingdom is kind of chilling out in the garden here. It's fine. Right next to royalty. Uh, hmm. Again? Citation needed, please. Welcome. Oh. Welcome, new galaxy. Okay. Whoa, there's a hurricane going on and it's massive. Look at that. You're now in the bunch of random stuff floating around, Galaxy. You did it! That was very strange. I mean, I'm not used to Mario games having an ending, quote-unquote. I don't know how I feel about this ending, quote-unquote. I, 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 I feel kind of, I feel, I don't know, was I too snarky? I just, I feel like a grand narrative within the confines of Mario. It's like, I don't blame them for trying. But I do think it's a bit of an ill fit. Or like, you know, you gotta be careful if you're gonna be trying to do that. But nonetheless, like, that's fine. Alright, so I just beat the game. Naturally, I am nowhere close to the end of this series. 
we are like barely above the halfway point in terms of star star count. And you know what? That's fine though. Uh, so my thoughts mid series: this game is a lot of fun. Turns out, what a shot! This game that is much beloved and you know <laughs> enjoyed by all. Turns out, it's it's very enjoyable. It plays very well. Like, I have some weird hiccups with controls now and then, but it still plays well. Um... I think I really like this concept of being able to reach out outside of your character, with the pointer in this case, to collect things. Like, the big reason why I don't go out of my... I've never seen that robot. One of the big reasons I've... I don't go out of my way to collect coins and whatnot in a lot of platformers is that you need to physically get there. But when you can be doing a thing and then, you know, also get it with like a, a, a sort of like extension of your own self that is pretty fluid, uh, it works very well. Oh, that robot was probably a representative of the galaxy I've never, well, the world I've never visited where we can meet the fire-breathing frog of some kind. It's like a Mecha Koopa. All right, so my hope is that I have the ability to put crowns on big galaxies, but we'll see. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. Like, this is kind of a, an assumption I'm making. Kenneth W. James. Uh, I'm assuming that's Bowser because every other voice actor is, is a woman. I mean, going by the names at the very least. Yeah, good game though. It is pretty fun. Oh, there's gonna be more snow it looks like. It is pretty fun. That's my hot take. Structurally, it is all over the place though. I like that you get to kind of, like, I, I approach things very linearly. But I still, like, appreciate the fact that it lets you kind of go out of all over the place. But the way things just kind of arbitrarily become options, though, is super weird and kind of awkward to me. Like, I, I like how... Oh. Should you even be there, Mario, in that scene? Like, like you know, like, like the comets, for example, like, it's neat. You get, like, a spin, and they unlock kind of whenever. But I don't know, like... At first I thought it was neat, but once... Once the concept is introduced, I wonder if you should be able to just do them. Is that... Is that selfish of me to say? Is that hypocritical? Is this kind of a th thought I have? Like, now I know that level is gonna have a comet. So, when I'm ready, can I have a comet? I don't know. Me, I don't know. I, but then again, I feel like they've been unlocking pretty quickly after being done with galaxies now. So, maybe that that has been happening. Whoa, what's going on with your color palette there, Mario? Dark Universe... Super reality power up. Maybe we'll see it in the post game. Also, the way to handle Luigi is super weird. It's like, hey, check it out. Luigi's thanks a thing now. Being my game. Well, thanks for making. Well, you didn't make this thing for starring it. What? Oh. This would be pretty. Uh, the purple comet is here. The purple comet is here to stay. It will fly around and bop you on the noggin. It's Super Mario Galaxy. So, uh, we're not gonna read a story. I guess next time we're gonna visit and we can check out what that means. And whenever I feel like I'm ending an episode short, we got one last chapter we can read when it feels right.